We have no known fatality in agriculture here in Michigan or even in the country where the rollover protective structure and seat belts have been properly used. And that's very important for all of us to understand. That statistic, along with other information presented at a meeting by Craig Anderson, manager of the Ag Labor and Safety Services Program at Michigan Farm Bureau, was all that was needed to persuade members of the Berrien County Farm Bureau to develop a program that provides rebates of $330 to those who purchase rollover protection structures for their tractors. The, the committee itself is structured uh, with people who, who, who believe that this is a good, a good thing for the membership. It's a good way for the county to give back to the membership. And, I, and it's really an easy sell to approach somebody and say, you know, there's, there's a opportunity here to make your farm safer. Rollover protection structures became required in 1976 on equipment manufactured for agricultural use, though they were available prior to then. To help get those fitted for safety built before 76 and still in operation today, tractor dealers will sell ROPs at dealer cost. And whether a factory installed or retrofit unit, a key component of ROPs is the seat belt. If it's not on, you're not being properly protected. As you get into the small utility tractors, in many cases that's where we've had the greatest problems occur is where you're operating that utility tractor as opposed to the large field tractors. If you look at the larger field tractors, there they're looking at a rigid structure in, in many cases, the cab. So those newer cabs are rated as rollover protective structures. Now that doesn't mean that you're perfectly safe when you jump into that cab. What it means is you still have to wear your seat belts when you're in that cab. You can be thrown clear, you can have the windows burst out, you can have additional problems when you're in that cab. So anytime that we operate that equipment, we want to make sure that we get the seat belt on. Initially, the county set up the program to run for three years, but the committee that was put in place to get the ball rolling sees it as something that will continue. One member who has taken advantage of the program is Dave Francis. He and his family grow grapes and tart cherries in Berrien Springs. Well, I first uh, saw the information about the ROPS program in uh, the Berrien County uh, Farm Bureau newsletter, and uh, it looked like a great idea. I've always known that I should have a ROPS on this old tractor, and uh, this was just the incentive I needed to, to get it done. You know, for one tractor, the original cost really wasn't a huge amount of money, um, but the, the incentive pays for more than half of, uh, of the ROPS system for me, and uh, this is a wonderful program. Uh, um, definitely, if you have an older tractor, you, you know it's needed, so uh, take advantage of the, of the, of the savings you can, you can get, get it done and, and uh, be safe, because the bottom line is we all want to come home to our families after the, after the day of work is over. A portion of the rebate comes from Lauren Korfmacher, Farm Bureau Insurance Agency Manager for Southwest Michigan. Helping keep farmers safe was all the reason he needed to get involved. I know in, in our three county area we do have about uh, 3,200 to 3,300 regular members. Um, not all of those far folks are um, active farmers, but I would, I would say there's probably a couple thousand that are active farmers. Um, twofold as far as safety goes. Um, one is the safety of the individual farmer. Um, obviously they have a family that uh, wants them around. And then the second piece would be uh, any employees that may get on uh, that different machinery, the farmer would be liable for their injuries. So to help protect the farmer um, and their uh, potential liability risks would be why it'd be important. You can read more about rollover protection structures by visiting marshfieldclinic.org. The Wisconsin-based healthcare system has teamed up with the National Farm Medicine Center to provide useful information, as well as a searchable database to help find the right supplier of the ROPs for your tractor.